This tutorial will demonstrate how to use the OpenTelemetry plugin for Pixie. One of Pixie's unique features is that it collects, stores, and queries all telemetry data locally in your cluster. Retention time depends on the level of traffic in your cluster, but will generally be on the order of hours. For many use cases, several hours of data is enough to debug issues with your Kubernetes applications. For long-term visibility, Pixie offers a plugin system that can be used to export Pixie data to an external storage provider. The OpenTelemetry plugin makes it easy for you to export Pixie data to any OpenTelemetry collector. Everything I'm going to show you today is available in a tutorial that I'll link below. You can also get to this tutorial by going to Pixie's plugin repo and then following the tutorial link in this table of available plugins. So let's go to that tutorial link now. So in this demo, I'm going to deploy an uh, example OpenTelemetry collector to my cluster. And then I'm going to show you how to enable the OpenTelemetry plugin and then configure which data is going to be exported. In a second video, I'll show you how to write your own plugin script so that you can export custom data. OK, so let's deploy the OpenTelemetry collector. So you can follow if you're following the tutorial, you can click the link here and it'll take you to a um, to our demo collector. But basically, we're just going to grab this um, YAML file. OK, and then we're going to apply it with kubectl. OK, great. And let's just peek at our cluster really quickly. So I have a Minikube cluster up and running, and it's got Pixie deployed, and that uh, Pixie is in the PL and PL PX operator namespace. And I also have a demo application so that our cluster has some traffic in it. And that's in the sock shop namespace. OK, so our collector is up and running. And to set up our plugin, we're going to go back to Pixie's live UI and go to the top right hand corner to the admin page. And on this page, we're going to quickly enable the OpenTelemetry plugin. And this plugin requires one piece of information, which is the custom export URL. So let me just open back this repo. OK, so in this repo, in the directions for deploying the OpenTelemetry collector, it provides this path that we're going to use to configure our plugin. So this is the path to our OpenTelemetry collector in our cluster. We're going to save that. Oh, this demo collector does not support a uh, secure connection. So I'm going to disable that really quickly. Press save. And then we need to go to this long-term data export page to configure what data is being exported. And there's also a shortcut up here on the left sidebar. So I'm going to click that button. And then this has a list of the preset scripts that are provided by the OpenTelemetry plugin. And we welcome more contributions here. This only has a few scripts to get started. Um, so we're going to, we have all these scripts enabled by default once we enable the plugin. And you can't edit these scripts, but you can change which clusters they'll be run on if you have multiple clusters with Pixie deployed. And you can also change um, uh, the, how frequently it runs. And these scripts are written in Pixel, which is Pixie's query language. And then they also use Pixie's OTEL methods to export the Pixie data in the OpenTelemetry format. So let's exit out of there. Great. So at this point, we should be exporting data to our OpenTelemetry collector. And we can check on that by going to the logs. So here you can see that we're regularly exporting metrics. And this OpenTelemetry collector example that we've deployed, it's basically just printing out any data it gets to its logs. So we can see that it's getting data here. So this is just a quick demo to show you how you can export Pixie data in the OpenTelemetry format. In the next demo, I will show you how you can create a custom script so that you can send whatever data you want to your OpenTelemetry collector.